There's so many things to love about Florida, and people visiting from other states tend to remind us how lucky we are to live here. The magical world of Disney is only but a few hours away for most Florida folk. There are miles of gorgeous blue beaches dotting the entire coast, most of which are essentially in our backyards, as some prideful Florida residents boast. Cue the party vibe of laid-back Miami and the eternal paradise of retirees in rich Naples. And we forget that one of the most vital parts of Florida is where there's no noise at all, in the quiet stillness of the woods. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to enjoy all those other fun things I mentioned, but what I do want to stress is how important it is to not forget Florida's roots, its primitive, woodsy nature. On a recent local excursion with my parents, I dove headfirst into the real Florida by hiking a section of the Florida Trail. The trail begins halfway between Marco Island and Miami, right in the middle of Florida where people have yet to mow down and build. The trail starts right there where that red arrow is pointing. After applying some bug spray and adjusting our hats, we set off on the trail. It was like stepping into another world. All was quiet but the crackling of sticks and rocks under our feet, and we were surrounded on each side by towering pines and palms. We snaked through a sea of grass and weeds that only swayed when the rare gust of humid breeze moseyed through. The sky was a brilliant blue and was accompanied by the sun, so there was no shortage of sweat. For an hour and a half, we waded deeper into the woods, discovering miles of open spaces dotted with a few remaining trees, thickets of palms and green underbrush that was the home of several thousand native Florida critters. It was wonderful to see how peaceful Florida was in its natural state, safe from development and high rises and busy traffic. Here, animals didn't live in fear and sunlight and rain fed the forest. Trees and flowers and shrubbery grew in abundance, undisturbed by anything save our careful footsteps and admiring eyes. So what did I take away from this trip? Nothing physical, of course, but two important reflections. The first, try to hike when it's cool or when the sun is being shy. The second, Florida's natural state, what is really truly what our backyard would look like, is an incredible force of nature and a gift. This state is more than just suntan lotion and theme park tickets. So, when you get time, do yourself a favor. Take a break from work and stress and maybe take some time to stroll the Florida Trail. Discover wildlife and take a deep breath of the fresh air. Most importantly, enjoy the peace that comes with rediscovering Florida's backyard.